So I got requested today to make a video showing how to do a knockout stitch. Okay, cool. So as soon as I got home, I asked my wife, what's a knockout stitch? She explained that the person in question probably meant a knockdown stitch. I said, oh, yeah, okay. So what's a knockdown stitch? It's... In case you don't know, it's basically when you have a very fluffy or wild material, it knocks it down, keeps it in place, creates a palette for your design to go on to. And I'm sure she explained it to me better than I just did, but that's the part that I remember. If on Google for machineembroiderygeek.com, which is cool, I consider myself a geek. Uh, what are knockdown stitches? A knockdown stitch in embroidery is a base layer of stitching designed to go underneath a name, monogram, or embroidery design. Its function is to hold down nappy fabric, nappy, to make the primary embroidery design more prominent. Yeah, keeps keeps all that nappy fabric in check, basically. I've got a couple of examples just from a Google search borrow these just for a for a brief second that was really nice that one's cool and and one thing to one thing to note or to take note of the knockdown stitch is primarily the same color as the fabric keep that in mind that one's pretty cool I was describing it so let's go on and i'm going to make a few different ones all of these are going to be really quick and easy i say that going into this should be pretty quick and easy uh, let's say you're going to give a wedding gift that is his and hers embroidered towels you got green towels and you're going to make his and hers so just as an example we're going to do this real quick. Oof. I'm going to try that over. Hit control. Try to keep it controlled and straight. About like that. Drop this into here. Path. Object to path. So I can get these three nodes right here. Drag that over. Cool. Now. On our objects layer, I'm going to hit Control D to duplicate. So now I have two of them. We're going to do green because we said, you know, the the knockdown is going to be green because the towels are green in our example. Now, now that we have these two, we're going to go to extensions. I'm going to do the bottom one first just to keep them in order. Go to params. I'm going to uncheck automatically route. And I'm going to go to fill, which is going to be checked manually. We're going to change that spacing between rows. We're going to change that from a quarter to one and a quarter. 1.25. So that makes a very long distance in between each one. And we're going to change the fill stitch length to two and on the angle of stitches we're going to change that to a 45 degree angle nice hit apply and quit do the same thing on the next one up get to ink stitch params uncheck automatic fill we're going to go to fill we're going to set the spacing between rows and I'm going to let that come up so we can see the stitch count. 17,000 stitch counts in that little, just that little piece. So we're going to change spacing between rows. We're going to change it to 1.25 and that's going to go down to 3,600, a lot less. And two and instead of 45 degrees, we want minus. 45 degrees 
if you're good with math, if you're better with math than I am, you can actually use the degrees that it is. But 45 degrees and minus 45 degrees, that in my mind makes sense. Okay, so we're going to look at this real quick as a visualize. There's no reason in the world it shouldn't be valid. Okay, so just scoot this along real quick. That's what it looks like that way, and then that way. And then with the little crossing, cross-looking thing, it looks a lot like the designs that we were seeing on the Google search. And you can change your, your angle if you want. Uh, like I said, I'm just doing those numbers because it's easy for me. And then we'll just go in here, ink stitch, lettering. Uh, we're going to just pick something, leave it at 100. Text will be his. Let's go with hers. You know, ladies first. Come on. Hit apply. Grab that and drag it down. I'm going to make it bigger. You really shouldn't do it that way, but I'm going to. And I'm going to... I think I'm going to make it white. So, hold down the shift button. And press the white color here. Color whatever you want. My wife says it's neat to have the same color satin stitch as the color of the background. We'll see that in a minute. So we're going to, I'm going to troubleshoot just because I did such a, uh, such a uh, size change in that lettering. Okay, we're good. And then visualize. Speed that up. Really hard to see, isn't it? Of course, I do white and make it hard to see. So, let's do black so it's easier to see. See if that's a little easier to see. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's one example. Then you could put a satin stitch border around that if you want to. We're going to do another one. I'm actually going to drag this one in. This is a design that I did a couple weeks ago for uh, Sweetie. And I'm going to take those two things off. Zoom in just a hair. Grab everything. Pull it up. And then we're going to just design around it. Uh, I think I want straights. Okay. We'll go straights for now and then we'll adjust accordingly. Okay, I want fill. It's probably not black fabric. Let's assume light lilac fabric. Okay. So there's our light lilac fabric. I'm going to make no uh, make sure it doesn't have a stroke. And then we'll uh, I want to do that thing. Grab them all. Make them round. Yeah, that works. Okay. Yeah. And then we'll we'll duplicate just like we did before. We're going to take the original design and put it on top. So that's what it looks like. Not bad. If I do say so myself. And then we'll do the same thing. Extensions. Ink stitch. Params going to turn off the autofill route we're going to go 45 degrees 2.0 and 1.25 
And a lot of this will change depending on the shagginess of the fabric you're working on. I'm just showing you basically how this works. Hit apply. Make the other one. Ink stitch params. Same thing. Uncheck. Go to fill. Do a minus 45. A 2 millimeter and a 1.25. Hit apply. The other thing's pretty complex, so I'm going to go ahead and troubleshoot just to make sure I didn't knock anything out of bounds. All shapes are valid. And let's see what she looks like. Really hard to see. I really don't see anything. It's really hard to see, but it's there. Okay, scoot that on through. I'm going to do one more. This one's going to be a little bit different. Got a hand towel. Got a wee little hand towel that's fuzzy. You probably can't tell. And I'm going to do an H for Sweetie Heather. With a knockdown and a satin outline around the knockdown make it a little bit smaller because i'm still playing that's why so we'll go four by four and There we go. Five corners. I'm going to make it just a hair smaller. Okay. Path. Object path. Maybe don't have to do that. I'm going to leave this black just so that we, on screen, we can see what's going on. Anything else, you can't really see it. So both of those, we've already done it. Ink stitch, params, turn off automatic fill, go to manual fill, change to 45, change to 2, change to 1.25, hit apply. Same thing on this one, params. Uncheck automatic, go to fill, minus 45, 2, 1.25. So with both of those done, now we're going to go to lettering. Romanesca, I like that one. Text, capital H, hit apply, drag that down here, make it white, I'm going to push shift and white, I'm going to fill that out a little bit more. Okay, because I made the lettering so much larger, we're going to do a troubleshoot. All shapes are valid. We're going to visualize. Speed up. Hard to see that H, but... I think you can see it and then on both of these both of those are going to become white so it's white on white on white I'll stitch it out and I'll show you what it looks like momentarily 
here it is as a picture. That is the design that I just made. White. White on white on white. It's kind of nice. Hope this helps you out. That is knockdown stitch and ink stitch. Thanks for watching.